Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Darren. In today's video, I want to show you how to mod Gotham Knights. Now, I get a lot of questions on the stream. Oh, how did you mod it? It's really freaking simple. So to save time, I'm just going to do this video. All right, so there are two ways to mod Gotham Knights. One's with a Nexus launcher and the other way is just manual. Now, manual is a lot easier than um, the Nexus in my opinion, the Nexus can bug out and you end up with a few issues. So what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna show you with this one, costumes in the Belfry, um, or the Belfry Tower, whatever you wanna call it, the way you wanna say it. Um, what you wanna do is just click on manual at the top here and you'll, have, you'll see, you know, which ones they want. Okay, so let's go with set to casual. I'm just gonna go manual download and then click on slow download. Now once done, this will um, arrive in your downloads folder or wherever you're saving it to, okay? So I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna use a program called 7-Zip to extract it. You can do that to whatever you want, whatever way you want. Just click on it and you've got this. We're gonna copy this. Now you want to head over to your Steam, Steam apps, common, Gotham Knights, and then I'll show you from there. When you get to this folder, click on Mercury, then click on Content, Packs, and if you don't have this folder here, I'll, you need to create it, okay? So just create that folder there if you don't have it. It's just that little symbol and then mods. And then you have an empty folder. If you don't have an empty folder and you already have mods, you know what you're already doing. So what you do then is just click paste, minimalize that down and launch the game. So once the game's launched, uh, launched, you don't actually have to do anything else. It's just, it should already work. Now I will say this as a pre-warning, a lot of mods might not work with co-op. Um, so be warned with that. A lot of other mods as well may get you flagged for cheating. So don't use them. And when I say cheating, it could be like save games, things like that. But that's not going to, it's not a guarantee. It just is a warning to you, especially with any other game. Okay. So don't just go and take any mod. Think about it first. Is, would this get me banned or whatever? If yes, then don't do it. You know, if no, like a skin, whatever. And to basically list off a few things, there you go, the mod works in game. It's not a very good mod because he's like on the board. weird headset sticking out of his chest. But um, so in a nutshell, she, miffed, she didn't figure out who Batgirl was in her own. In multiplayer, yeah. Wait till she finds you can use skins with each other. Like I can have, say, for example, the this hair physics mod and cape mod that I've got on. I've got Spider-Man, Miles Morales skin. I've got better graphics, better rain. Um, I've also had Snowy Gotham and a whole lot of other things running. And I can still play co-op with friends who do not have these settings or mods. So I uh, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and we'll see you all on the next video.